Okay, so this is really random, but I was just on YouTube and all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the most beautiful image I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it was pancakes that were literally this thick and this fluffy. I just instantly thought I must squish that. <laughs> I must squish that. I must bite that. I must taste that. I must make that. Like I just have never in my entire life felt so intrigued by a photo of food. And since I'm this hype about these pancakes, I'm like, I'm gonna document the process because it seems kind of easy. There's only a few ingredients involved, but it definitely, I think, involves some technique. So I'll probably mess them up, but I'm hoping that they turn out because I have just, mm, I'm excited. Okay, so this is the original video. Are you guys? Dying or are you dying or are you already dead because this is nuts All right, so here's the deal uh, Basically round one was a complete fail and I'm not even gonna sit here and make you guys watch this because it's just sad <laughs> Basically, I thought I could get away with using the healthy shit that I had on hand like oat flour and coconut sugar but turns out you know <sighs> I should have known better. You have to use the white stuff. You gotta get white flour, white sugar, and so mine just turned out healthy, <laughs> nasty. Uh, here, just just watch me take a bite of it for the first time. Hmm. That was just really good. I mean, oh wait. Something is really wrong here. There's like a very strong aftertaste. It's <laughs> a very strong aftertaste of poison. <laughs> all right, here we go. Step one, the eggs. All right, we're gonna separate the yolks and the whites. The whites are gonna go in the mixing bowl. The yolks are gonna go in also a mixing bowl, but <laughs> this one's for the mixer, right? mixture with the egg whites you can just go ahead and set aside my mixers over here so I'm just gonna put it in the mixer now coming back to the bowl with the yolks in it I'm gonna give it a quick little whisk okay now we are going to add a teaspoon of vanilla Making messes, making messes. Um, was I the only one that as a kid, I thought vanilla extract smelled so good that I would just take a spoonful of it and then was shook that it was alcoholic? That was scarring. Okay, so vanilla, Rini, you're gonna have to stop. You're gonna annoy everyone. Let me see that. Anyway, all right. Whisking, 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 whisking. Um, then just a tiny splash of milk. I have almond milk here, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna do a tablespoon. I'm pretty, wait. I should double check the recipe. <laughs> Hold on. We're not, we're not taking chances this time. Hold on. I did this the last time. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna pour everything that I poured in because too much came out. Okay, and again, just whisking, 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 whisking. And now, you're going to sift four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So I'm just putting the flour right into the sifter, and then just cha, 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 cha. Oh my gosh, this flour is so much finer than the other stuff I use. Now I'm just, Oh, this is beautiful. This feels right. Yes, I love it. And also, don't forget the baking powder. Last time, I actually used baking soda and lemon juice, thinking, you know, I didn't, I didn't have baking powder in hand, so I just assumed, okay, the acidity from the lemon juice will uh, 
you know, um, neutralize the baking soda and it will have the same reaction as baking powder, right? Mm, I don't know. That may have played a role in them not like getting that fluffy, so. Half teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, now we're gonna go over and whip our egg whites. Pretty much we're going to be doing like a meringue. So whipping the egg whites and then slowly pouring in cane sugar until it stiffens and like becomes kind of hard. So let's go. I'm gonna do two, almost two tablespoons, not quite. And you wanna pour it in slowly. Winnie, where's your elephant, honey? <laughs> Let's play. Let's play, ready? Ready? Ready to play? Ready? <gasps> Woo! Bring it back to me, baby. Yeah, oh. Oh. There she is. Oh, thank you, baby. This cat never runs out of energy, I swear. Oh, look at that. So perfect. I'm so excited. So now you take the fluffy mixture and you slowly fold it into the egg yolk mixture. Excuse me, ma'am. Sha, 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 sha. You, you're pushing it. Cha, 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 cha. Get down. Can you tell that she's super spoiled? You, can you quit being bad on the camera, please? Get a little bit at a time. Just like that. And then just lightly. Unfortunately, I don't have like a spatula, so I have to just do this with a spoon carefully. I have to say, I'm a little nervous because I watched the video back and her mixture is a lot thicker than mine. So I just don't think it's gonna stack in the pan, but <laughs> I'm not doing this a third time, so it is what it is. All right, here we go. There's some butter in the pan. I'm gonna just put a small dollop of batter. Okay, then you're gonna let that sit for about a minute before you stack more on top of it. And you're gonna spoon just a little bit of water. And then you're gonna put something on top of it to keep it in. A lid works, but I'm using this. And now. <laughs> wow, look at that. Fluff City. So again, just add a little bit of water, give it a little steam session, and it should be done in a couple of minutes. I mean, they're unique looking. <laughs> oh, I don't know how they looked so good in the video. Mine are just like, the shape just didn't hold. And they're not, I mean, it's, they're definitely fluffy for sure, but they're not like, you know, there's not like air in them. They feel quite dense. Like, I just don't think the baking powder like did its job or something. I don't know, I'm confused, but you know what? It's fine. Gonna add in some berries on top, yes. Okay, so I got my strawberries and then I'm also pouring some warm honey on top instead of maple syrup. I just think honey tastes better. Ooh, that looks so kind of like gourmet now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, moment of truth, I mean, I think I fucked up. <laughs> I don't get it because I followed the recipe like perfectly. What is happening? They're so thick. I mean, actually, maybe they're okay. Hmm. I mean. Hmm. I mean, it's really good taste wise. It's really good. But it's like I thought, it's it's too dense. Why did it not fluff up? I don't know, I'm confused, but 
definitely better than last time. Doesn't taste like poison. So we're leveling up. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna go. So thank you for hanging out with me today slash last night. And um, if for whatever reason you can figure out how to make these, let me know. <laughs>